Welcome back to Briggs on Books, our international talk show where we talk to authors and publishers and editors and, and, and readers even. Our biggest audience is readers who are trying to figure out what to read next. Hopefully we'll be able to give them a clue. Another big chunk of our, our audience who are also readers are writers who are trying to finish writing their first book. And they, I always get uh, feedback because they're inspired by the writers we bring on the show because they did something they couldn't. Finish writing a book. And our next guest did just that, Vivian Ireton. Welcome, Vivian. You finished one and you've started on another. I uh, did. Tell Thank her, you. Tell our viewers where, you're, where you are. In Indiana? I am in Indiana. And What's the weather like? We're, we broke 100 here today for the first time. We're not that hot. <laughs> <laughs> you're not that hot yet. By the way, um, Vivian, I'm glad to have you. And here's the cover of the book. Uh, tell us the genre. The genre is, I write Christian fiction. It's a um, suspense romance genre. So. Suspense romance. And it's, the story is very interesting. And uh, tell, tell, what, what can you tell us without giving away too much about the story? It takes place in Chicago. And there's a sil serial killer on the loose. Um, and it teams up social worker Cassandra Welton with Detective Logan Trenton to find the serial killer. And Cassandra also has some romantic twist in there. So... Um, Keeps you guessing a little bit. <laughs> By the way, uh, on the cover, whatever I see at Ferris wheel, I always guess Chicago or London. And this is definitely Chicago. The Chicago. But they have a big Ferris wheel out of the Navy Pier. And that's where it's set. Now, the cover's intriguing because you have a guy sort of like a mime. Yes, there is actually a mime in the, in the um, book. And actually... It's the first murder victim. Oh, my goodness. And it's a mystery. Now, um, and they're kind of, a, you're a Christian author, so it's probably pretty clean writing, I would imagine. Yes, it is. There's no graphic scenes. Um, just a little bit of a graphic scene, but it doesn't go too deeply um, because there is a rape scene. Mm. But it doesn't go into a lot of details on that. And who could read this? Can kids read it? Young adults? Um, I would say it's mostly for adults. If you're young adult, like um, maybe 16 or something like that, I would say that would be okay. Yeah. I wouldn't put it too much later just because of the Probably anybody who likes to read a romance novel will like this. Uh, detective, a mystery novel. There's some intrigue going on in there. And is it set in Chicago? It is set in Chicago. No. Are people from there who go to Chicago, will they recognize some, some of the places and scenes? They should recognize some places. Um, and some of the scenes, of course, Navy Pier is in there. Yeah. Um, some restaurants that they might recognize that I didn't name specifically, but if they know the area, they'll they're going to figure it out. Huh? It is. Yeah, that is fun. Now, wh how did this come about? When did you start writing this book? You know, I really started writing this um, quite a few years ago, and I set it aside. Mm -hmm. And I decided last year that I was going to pick it up and I was going to finish it. Yeah. And so that's what I did. And so um, then when you got it finished. Finished the one, then you just rolled right into another, started writing? Yes. Yeah, that's great. How about the process of getting the book out there? Were, were you surprised at how much work that was once you finished writing? I wasn't necessarily surprised. Um, I, I'll admit that I at first didn't know how to go about it. Yeah. And so it took a little bit, and 
So I hired a promoter. <laughs> and I hope your second one is smoother and faster. And then, do you, oh, by the way, uh, let's go back to the cover. It's some series. What's the series called? The, the PSV series. What does that mean, PSV? Um, police of Special Victims. Ah. Yeah, which is kind of popular out there right now in the, in the literary and the TV uh, 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 genres. And uh, do you know how many will be in the series, or do we just have to wait and find out? Actually, this is going to be a three book series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love. And a, I'm writing the second one. Yeah, I love a series. I can't tell you how many times I've read a book and you finish, and you just don't want to let those characters go. You want to stick with them for a while. So I'm glad that you're doing that. More and more authors are, are seeing that as well. By the way, I have your web address on the screen, he-is-able, heisable.com. What would our viewers find there? Um, that is our my website. You would find information about silence. You would find information about Christian writing. Mm -hmm. You would also find my web store where you can order um, copies of Silence. Yeah, I... And if you order them there, they're autographed. Yeah, I like that. Whenever I can order directly from the author, I like to do that. It just, I feel it's more personal and I got a little bond now with the author. Comes and I open, there's a nice little surprise inside from the author, a signature and stuff like that. So I encourage everybody to do that. Now, uh, one thing I've been doing, I say this on the show sometimes, is I don't buy one book anymore. I don't buy one copy. I always buy at least five or seven copies. And, you know, I'm always having to give out little gifts here and there. And uh, I like to get all my friends reading what I'm reading, too. So go to, uh, go to uh, uh, Vivian's website and order this book or wherever you order. I don't think she cares where you order it, but uh, just order, order it. <laughs> Uh, Vivian. It can be found on Amazon and Barnes and Noble yeah. also. All the usual suspects. Now, will the uh, next in the series have some of the same characters? It will. Um, it'll be characters that some that you have seen before, and um, it'll expand on some that you've seen. Yeah. And then you'll add in a flavor of new ones too. Nice. Very nice. Um, Vivian, uh, we're about out of time, but I just want to give you a minute. Do we leave anything out? Anything you want to tell our viewers or the audience or any advice you want to give to writers? You know, writing, if you love writing, sit down and do it. There are so many ways to, to get what you write out there today. Um, and self-publishing can be very easy in and of itself. Marketing maybe a little more, but yeah. you'll get the hang. You'll figure it out. You gotta uh, drudge through it. Now, uh, and I know we're over time, but I just I like to ask this question: uh, How are you disciplined? Do you get up every day at six o'clock and sit down and write for five hours, or, or what's your process? Actually, I'm a weekend writer. Mm. Um, my writing I typically do on Friday and Saturday nights. Ah, nice. And you enjoy it. Apparently, and I do. That's your relaxation time and your end of the week time and 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 the like. Um, well, I tell our viewers, this is what I did, viewers. I went and I typed Vivian Ireton in Amazon. The book popped right up. But the web address, I've already got it memorized. He is able dot com. He dash is dash able dot com. He's able dot com. Go order it there. Thank you so much for taking the time out, Vivian. Thank you very much for having me today. All right, and for our viewers, stick around. We'll be back with another author right after this.